Hey guys. As you know, there's a competition coming up tomorrow. The Nordic Strongest Men and Women competition. And Tata is here with me. We're currently we're gonna go to the for right now. It's I think 10 a.m. in the morning. 10:30 something now. We have to eat something before we go. So waiting for our order to come yet. Wish us luck. We're almost about to reach the Combat Academy. We're not gonna lie, a little bit late. Hi guys. Uh, he's a very good MMA fighter and also a gold, uh, gold medalist fighter. Yeah, like uh, gold medalist in the national and like, uh, silver medalist in the Asian championship. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. If you meet this guy on the road, don't fight about him. <laughs> So, we're going to do some stretchings and let's see how long I can last. Let's go through dynamics and dynamic stretching, okay? So it's just simple, nothing hard. First one, what you'll do is uh, swing our legs. Yes. Both my arms, right? Just swing our legs, okay? You're okay with walking forward. Let's just stretch. Swing your legs, right? And then, let's keep going like this, right? Now we'll do the same thing, but now we'll swing our legs, uh, not to the front, but to the back and forth, right? <laughs> 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 and, uh, so what this is, uh, it's better for you if you bend a little bit, huh? you can touch the floor, okay? For example, you can touch the floor and just swing your legs back and forth, okay? One forward, leg, one forward, our leg, leg, just keep going to that. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Straight away. So just keep doing like this. Now the third one. Okay. Same thing. We'll choose one side. Whichever leg you want to go first. Let's just say I step to the right leg. One hand now. Stretch. Okay. Hold there for three to five seconds. Switch. Ah, other side. Same thing. And then you switch legs. And you do the same thing. Yeah, one more. Uh, so, 
Let's do 10 high knees. Okay, 10 seconds high knees again. Now, kick back or butt kicks. Okay? Alright, now 10 squats. 10 no more squats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This must be very heavy. <laughs> Same time is effective also oh. okay, in, in the world of MMA in the world of BGJ and like dangerous as well okay, because it's very effective. So the untrained people if they do obviously they will drop out other people also, but it's kind of risky also because uh, the thing about passing out is not very healthy in the first place. Choc uh, choking someone out is <laughs> not healthy, and if you don't leave someone. After, even after they are like unconscious, it is uh, dangerous for their life also. So, <laughs> I will do it. You want to risk your life <laughs> after I watch Sultan some of the movie? <laughs> I want to do see how how it feels. <laughs> yeah, bro, like if you want to, uh, you can just try. Have you ever been passed out by the way? Yeah, I do. I feel a lot. Then you think. Then you think. Yeah. Uh, no, do you feel like uh, you are? In a dream, no? dream, yeah, yeah. Like He's like, dream, oh, the moving thing. Yeah. <laughs> you don't remember when you wake up? Yeah, yeah. We just, we just wake up on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I remember. Is it, is it just the same? Just the same thing. Ah, okay. That's really nice. <laughs> I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> Playing that 
But guys, like, make sure uh, if don't you are Adrian, don't try this at home because, like I said, if you make someone unconscious and if you don't leave it on the right time, the person might die also, nah? So don't try this at home, okay? It's just we are doing professionally. He's the professional. I'm still one. No, it's just for some reason. Uh, but by the way, we are meeting for the first time. But yeah. I'm, I was very fond of him, like through social media. Like he used to very big fan of his weightlifting also at the same time. Yeah, same thing. Uh, <laughs> He's a very good fighter. At the same time, I find him very humorous, uh, funny because he makes uh, kind of like memes and funny videos. And stuff. <laughs> Do check him out again. Okay? He's very entertaining. <laughs> Thank you so much for this experience. Uh, <laughs> uh, by the way, how old are uh, you? I'm 17. Shit. <laughs> uh, some people actually thought that I was one of the, those guys who has been 17 for a very long time. Yeah, yeah. You know, to fool the people in Australia, the organizers and all the competitions. Yeah. I have no point in doing that, man. Yeah, man. Here in Nagaland, there's no HK to be or anything. We just open it, we just stick part open the Nona. Yeah. So there's no point in me doing that. So. Yeah, the first time when you <laughs> Uh, I got to see you like uh, I even I thought you were, you would be kind of like my best best mate and all that. But uh, slowly I came to know that you are very young. Yeah. So good to know you have a lot more to go. Yeah. So, yes. For the same age actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, man! You guys are fit. Yeah. Exactly. Really? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 15. Yes. 15. Yes. 16. 15 years old. Camera. <laughs> this guy's a 16 year old. <laughs> Do you believe this 16? <laughs> And this bro, how old are you? 18. 18. Oh shit, you guys are all like, 18 this year. You and brothers, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're all cousins. <gossiping. laughs> to get your brain. So like, I just tried and now yeah. this guy says he also he also, he also, he also wants to try. I think I'll try. We'll see yet. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> now this guy is also saying that he wants to try as well. Seriously? I want to give I believe in you. <laughs> Everyone is like, how much? 17, 18? Uh, 15 years old, shit. Kills you this, fucking ass. 15 years old, I was like, like, my discard. Very impressive. Like, it's very positive to see young guys, like, yeah. uh, seeing them fit, yeah, seriously. Even me, I'm young, but. Are you serious? Take with you guys, I feel like I'm old, yeah. Uh, so, best of luck, I believe in you. I'm not going to 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 I'm It felt good. Is it alright? Give it to you. Did you? Ah. Oh, you're fine. Fine. I'm fine. Like, how did you feel? Uh, everything went dark. Uh -huh. <laughs> dream? Any dream? <laughs> did you have a dream like like how I did? I don't think any kind of dream. Yeah. So like uh. It's like that when you, even me, we got choked out like when we were new to this thing. Yeah. So luckily, in the fight, still not yet choked out. So, but when we were new in the gym, we, we were just choked out by our seniors. The time, like, it feel like uh, it will be just like five seconds sleep, okay? Yeah, yeah. But you will be in a dream. Yeah, yeah, it, it felt like that. It's some whole new thing. Yeah. Like it, it felt like hours. Yeah, like hours, seriously. So when I first passed out, like, in my dream, I was. Doing warm up, doing warm up, and, <laughs> and my friend there, when he first passed out, 
he was in his kitchen home <laughs> chopping meat it seems <laughs> and his mother was calling him <laughs> So this is the easiest dream to have. <laughs> so I don't know how to call them. <laughs> Brave or crazy or something. Stupid. Nice, nice, nice. Very happy. What about you on the I have the middle of fun. It helped me escape from reality in <laughs>
Uh, we used to have. Obviously, we'll we'll be working on doing training throughout the days. Like we don't stop. We are regular, but if we are to fight now nah, outside, like example, we are going to tournament or not. So we used to have like one month of training camp. Like uh, training camp is another like different. Like intensity is more more specific. Uh, Planning your game plan and all, right? Mm. Like that. So, do you have like like any kind? If you are to go to a tournament, do you like also do training camps and all, or just uh, no more? For me, we do like the weekly thing or mm -hmm. any kind of powerlifting program. Right? I would yeah. stick to a program and like uh, I would mainly follow that for like about a month okay, okay. or maybe more. Okay. And after I get the pen results, then I will like compete. Like uh, a certain diet that you follow during those following that uh, program, uh, because I think our Muslim also have uh, weight categories, no? or it's some do, but some do, no? most don't. Okay. In Nagaland, they're very careful with the weight categories. So, yeah. in some of them there is, but most of them is not. Ah, sure, sure. But nice, yeah. but I think weight category is more uh, convenient. Yeah, it's more fair. Yeah, more fair. Yeah, I was like. Because like a 60 yeah. guy cannot could be with 100 kg guy, and especially both of them are trained, na. Huh? Yeah. Except for me, like even if a 60 kg guy comes and trains and plays with me, na, I will lose to them. <laughs> My arms are as weak as shit. <laughs> but his grip, like his grip, right? Yeah. He's like one of the strongest in that league, for sure. I saw like he is competing with grown men. Yeah. So one time I saw his weightlifting competition. <laughs> you were competing with gold men and like I think you went to the final also, no? or something like I, that. I got second. Yeah, once, yeah. yeah. So it's very impressive, bro. Since think, think. Then you're in some coming years, so you will surpass them, though. Seriously, if you keep up the work. Hopefully. Yeah. The rest of the days you will train here, eat here, sleep here. Day to day, like this is our life only now. Even I wish I could sleep in my gym, but my set is not. So we had a uh, gym on at Kohima also, right? Yeah, yeah, near the secret, near the high school, no? Yeah, so we <coughs> shut it down this one. No? This oh, one was la uh, no, no. Yeah, November. Just we shut it down just few days back. Oh, why? Also, the problem that was happening was like uh, the fighters used to shift, right? They used to go, two of them would go and uh, they will stay for like two months, three months, and then again, next two people will go on. I guess so. It was kind of affecting our training oh. anyway. So we decided to shut it down for some while and let everyone excel in their career first. Yeah, yeah. And then we can open up again. We told some of the students here. Because some of the students here are like uh, very interested in like they want to make career or something. Like some of them very dedicated. So our coach can offer them to like give free training here if they can make it there. If they can stay here, nah? like, training will be free. So like one of them came all the way from Korea and is now training. It's just been like one or two days like that. Can I do something? Yeah. Like, just recently something happened in Morong's gym. Nah. Uh, like someone stole their bike in a soul cycle in Morong's gym. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm not aware of that. Someone recently, uh, there's a uh, video going around here. In one of the, one of the gyms in here in the Mopur, okay. Bodycraft gym, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone came and stole a cycle. Cycle? Yeah, okay. from, the, from, from outside the gym. Nah. Okay. When they were caught, instead of giving the punishment, they brought them to the gym. And they made they made him train. <laughs> they, they made him do squats, na, mm -hmm. and jerk, and a lot of other exercises. Okay. So has it, has anything ever happened here like that? Like someone has came and stolen anything? Uh, here. Uh, when we so before we shifted here, we were in uh, Nagarjun, okay? Oh. Uh, Nagarjun. So you know Nagarjun, like, oh, we used to have one caretaker, mm. like just a young guy like us, okay? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he told us like one night when he was sleeping like uh, I think a couple of guys tried to break, break in. Yeah. So 
they thought I think that they were thinking like no, there was no one that uh, the caretaker was sleeping in, in the dark now. Yeah. So even him, he got scared and he started screaming. Yeah. And <coughs> those thieves and all they yeah. they also got panic and they ran away it seems. But <laughs> that caretaker also from that night he got scared of his life now. Yeah. Like you never know what the thief will do to you now. So he also left after that. <laughs>